Welcome back to another Daily Glitch where we cover your top news stories each and every day. This just in, trading card fans, Square Enix has announced that the wildly popular card game based on Final Fantasy is finally making the jump to the European and American markets. That's right, the Final Fantasy trading card game, which has been available in Japan for over six years, will be releasing stateside on October 28th of this year. Although the Japanese version has over 2,000 cards, the initial release in the West will only contain 216 cards in what will be called the Opus 1 set. This set will cover 30 years of Final Fantasy, including the 7 remake and World of Final Fantasy. Additionally, each card in the set will have a premium foil version, building up the excitement for those who love to just collect them all. No worries if you aren't a big fan of deck building games, as this game will also launch with three themed starter decks, a Final Fantasy 7 set, a 10 set, and a 13 set. As you wait for October 28th, feel free to check out the tutorial series so you can prime yourself for release day. All we can do is hope that the trading card game will have a positive reception like it did in Japan so we can see more sets released in the coming months. In other news, Stardew Valley fans, soon enough there will be more for you to do thanks to the upcoming 1.1 version update. But if you don't like waiting to check out all of the new content, you can opt into the beta today and see what all of this hype is about. Version 1.1 features a large set of changes, including adding Shane and Emily as marriage candidates, providing more possible locations and actions for your spouses, shed and mill buildings, a new quest after the community center Yoya Mart arc, a new magical construction feature, the ability to move your buildings, coffee and coffee beans, mead, new fish, lost books, and the introduction of jealousy and even divorce. Of course, there are many more features for you to check out in the beta, so if you want to opt in, follow these steps. Right-click on Stardew Valley in your game's library, select Properties, click on the Beta tab, and in the drop-down menu, select Beta. This will initiate a download of the beta version of 1.1, opening you up to a new experience in Stardew Valley. So go ahead, check out the beta, and let us know what you think about the newest change. We'll be checking it out on our end too, and are sure to discuss it on our next Glitch Feed podcast. And that's today's big gaming news. Make sure to subscribe to us and follow us on Twitter to stay up to date on the top gaming news each and every day. We'll be back tomorrow for another Daily Glitch.